Hey guys, so I was running late today, so I didn't get to like record me leaving the house and stuff. But I'm at the Memphis airport right now. I am getting ready to board and I will come back and show you all. Got on my Yeezys. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's like 6 a.m. on Easter day and I will see you all in a little bit. Okay guys, sorry I was whispering in that first video, but we have landed. I went to the um, little gift shop and got some new ears, like Mickey ears, because I really wanted some cute orange ones. But we are here, I need to go pick up my bags. And I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty excited. Like I'm gonna be a huge, big old kid. Okay guys, so I just got to my hotel and my room is not ready yet. So I did change, I put on a little dress. I hope I'm not showing too much, but I put on a dress and I'm going to show you all this hotel it's like a very woodsy theme this is the wilderness lodge at disney world on resort so let me show you all this place actually let's just explore it together you guys so i don't know how i ended up out back oh there's an arcade over here like look y'all an arcade so you all see everything is very woodsy but um let me go over here so you all can get a better view we were Okay guys, I had to switch to like my legit camera because my phone is out of battery, but I'm going to show you all this place. But like, let's keep exploring the outside because this is like the only place where it's like quiet. It's so loud everywhere. I know this is Disney, but it's a lot more kids than I expected. It is Easter though. That would be really cute to take your kids here on Easter. Oh, this is calm. This is probably so nice in the morning. Like, look at that. But I wonder where the pool is. That's what I want to see. I'm glad I have time to just see what everything is right now. So here's the pool. I love how it's like overflowing over there to where it's like all, what is this, like a um, infinity pool or something? That's pretty cool. Like even though it's only 70 degrees and cloudy, like it's still pretty warm out here. Like I'm sweating. <laughs> Guys, the lobby looked beautiful. It looked absolutely unreal. Like it's so unthemed. I love the totem poles. They had Native American pieces there. It was just beautiful, you guys. Okay, guys, so here is the room. I probably should turn the lights on. So here is the room, you guys. This is nice. I like the hardwood floor it's giving. Here I am. I put on some ears. These ears are so tall, but yeah. Okay, very cutesy. Okay, bathroom. I like a nice, huge mirror. Oh, this bathroom is like almost luxury. It's not giving Disney. The bathroom is not giving Disney at all. Like, ah, you see me, you see me, you see me. Okay, here it is. Beautiful, nice wood. So here's like the actual like toilet and the shower. The shower, I love a nice glass shower. This one is so nice. Love the black finish around it and all of that looks amazing. You have a Craig over here. That is good. I might end up getting my coffee here. I probably need more than two creams every morning, but I think I'll probably do my coffee here because I have to leave out so early to get to the park. But yeah, here it is. You have like a little desk over here. Here's the bed, beautiful, beautiful. And I think, okay, let's see. Oh, I actually do have a balcony. Okay, that's cool. And I'm overlooking the pool. This is actually a really good room. I was like, dang, I have to walk all the way to the back like they put my room all the way in the back but um i'm happy let me see i'm trying to open this thing let's see how i open it oh okay it's two locks very childproof but yeah here it is you guys you have a nice little balcony wow this is nice very cute very cute i'm loving it you guys Okay, I feel like rooms wise, this was one of the nicest resort rooms at Disney. Like it's just giving. Okay guys, since I am here by myself, I did get like this door alarm thing to where like if someone tried to open the um, door, the alarm would go off. So definitely while I'm sleeping. And then it has like a connecting guest room over here. So I wanna make sure nobody can get in either one of those doors. So I do have two of these. And then I also got 
this lock thing. So yeah, the door lock. So they would not be able to open it with. Safety is important. Okay y'all, so I kind of got myself fixed up a little bit. Like I redid my lace and stuff, put on my ears, redid my lip gloss and bam, bam, bam. This is what it's giving you guys. It is giving, look at these ears, I look so cute. I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat, I'm ready to eat. Let's go you guys. So I'm so happy that I get to see this resort because everyone says that this is like the best resort. This is the Polynesian Resort and it's like kind of Hawaiian themed, like Lilo and Stitch is here. I'm so excited to eat here y'all. I cannot wait to show you all. Look at all of this, like it's so nice. It's a really like just a vibe and I can't wait to get a drink in me. <laughs> look at this, like look at that, it looks so cute. Let me um, flip the camera and show you all everything, but I'm so excited. I need to hurry up because my reservation is very soon but you all see like it's very nice disney has already impressed me because no matter where you go each resort is themed differently and you're transported to whatever the theme of that resort is like i feel like i'm in hawaii or polynesia i don't know <laughs> So one thing I have to get used to is someone telling me, I like your ears, and they're talking about these. I was like, wait, how can she see my ears? Hmm, <laughs> but yeah. So this place has been hyped up by TikTok so much. My first place to eat on Disney property was Ohana. So I started off with the Lau Lau, I believe is how you pronounce it. But this is a pineapple alcoholic drink. And let me tell you, these drinks at Ohana were hitting. Like, they were strong, you guys. I was not expecting that at all. It was so good. And I just feel like drinking out of a pineapple is just so on brand. So it's also a family-style restaurant, which means they bring the food out to you and put it all on a plate in the middle of the table. And if you're with others, of course, I was by myself. But if you're with others, you all pick off of that plate. So you all share, kind of. So firstly, they had the bread and honey butter. It was just a slab of butter with some honey drizzled on it. It wasn't that good. So here's the salad and the bread, which is what they start you off with. And the salad did have a really good dressing. Um, and this is just a close-up of the bread and salad. So unfortunately, I do believe the drinks were starting to get to me. And I forgot to record this horizontally. But then they bring out the appetizers, which include pot stickers, teriyaki noodles, teriyaki wings, and also broccolini, which was delicious. Those pot stickers were amazing, you guys. 10 out of 10 on those. The noodles were great. I'm not a noodle person. The wings were pretty good. I just wish they were cooked a little more. Y'all, I got that drink so fast, but I'm so glad that they don't go like cheap or like, you know, frugal on the wings. Like I'm glad they gave me a lot of wings, even though I'm by myself. This is the pot sticker. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I got it like, my bad. I have to like ration this because I still have like three more things coming out. It was just super cool. They also had a man coming around playing his ukulele. It was just such a vibe, you guys. So they also brought out steak, peeled shrimp, some kind of grilled chicken. And y'all, it was just so good. The shrimp was amazing, you guys. And I ended up having another drink. So I finished like the meal at El Juana, but everyone has been hyping up the, oh, my nail is dirty. Like my nail is very dirty. I'm sorry, the drinks are hitting y'all, but my nail is dirty, but, but everyone has been saying that the bread pudding, the dessert at El Juana is really, really good. So I'm excited to try it. Like I'm ready, I'm ready. Mm. 
so this is the bread pudding which has everyone losing their minds and it's covered in caramel sauce which is what he's pouring on it and vanilla bean ice cream vanilla bean just hits different way better than normal vanilla and it was just such a beautiful presentation so i'm actually pretty tipsy so i'm just gonna go to the hotel and take a little nap but after that we'll be back outside <laughs> Hey y'all, it's 7 p.m. I have a reservation for home coming at 8.40. I'm not even really hungry right now, but I'm so excited. I want to try it so bad. But man, those drinks had me out. Oh, I just have to get up, y'all. I just got to get up. That's all. And just like that, I'm ready to go again. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me close the blinds because I know it's going to be dark by the time I get back. But I'm going to leave out. I might go downstairs and get a water bottle. But let's go ahead and head out. We are back out. So this hotel did have like a little restaurant or quick service place full of great looking desserts. It just looks so delicious. Uh, you can also get like regular food here. But I didn't even know this was here and I'm a sucker for muffins. So I'm definitely gonna have to try this one day. Okay guys, so I am here. A lot of people have been talking about this cookie shop Gideon's. So I'll see if I can actually get that. I'll see, but I'm sure it's gonna be crazy right now. So we'll see. So I had some time before my reservation and I needed to kill some time. So I stopped at this Christmas shop. I love Christmas decorations. And I felt like a Christmas ornament would be the perfect thing, the perfect souvenir for Disney World. So I did get a couple of those. I also visited this Coca-Cola store where at the top they have a bar full of Coca-Cola drinks and different mixed Coca-Cola drinks. So I eventually did make it to my reservation, which is Homecoming. So Homecoming is a Southern restaurant and I heard great reviews. So I got the mac and cheese and the thigh high chicken biscuits. And y'all, it was so good. The biscuits itself was so good. You can order just the biscuits. The mac and cheese was pretty good. I'll give this place an eight. So afterwards, I just kept walking, visiting places. And I love m and m So naturally, I went inside that big m and m store over there. And another thing I love is like assorted colors. Like whenever I see colors all laid out together, like it just makes me so happy. Like. This pleases me in a way I cannot describe. So I just had to get this on video. Remember that cookie shop I was talking about earlier? This is Gideon. So it is like gothic themed and just really cute. Like these little portraits on over here are just so cute to me. But y'all, the cookies here were so good. Like I know some people say, oh, I like a chocolate chip cookie with not too many chocolate chips. But y'all, it was fire. It's so good. So Disney Springs also had like a Zara and Sephora. So Sephora was closed because it was Easter day. But I did go into Zara and I mean, they had some okay stuff. I just had to see. But I had already done so much shopping as you all can see. But it was time for me to head home because I have to get up early tomorrow to get to the parks as soon as possible, y'all. Like, it's time to go home. But here is a close-up of my cookies. I got cookies and cream in the original chocolate chip. And y'all, it was just so good. My goodness. Hey guys, so it is Monday morning. This is my first day going into the parks. And I'm going to Magic Kingdom. So... I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get there when the park first opens and then it opens early for a resort guests. So I'm trying to be there super early, but let me show you all my outfit. I have on like a leather um, bodysuit, just black leggings, Yeezys, and this racer jacket. Um, I was gonna do like a really cute skirt, look like a little princess or something. But it's supposed to rain today and it's like going to be a little cold Cold for Florida. It's going to be like 70 degrees. So I'm like, okay, I'll just serve a slight look. But I'm getting ready to head out right now. I'll see you all in a little bit. So I'm walking through the tunnel and seeing Magic Kingdom for the first time. 
And let me tell you, you are immediately transported to this town. It is like a literal town or a kingdom, actually. And it's just insane. Like, it's so beautiful. And I'm so happy I was able to go in the morning when hardly no one was there to where it was practically empty. But it was just such a surreal moment. Okay, y'all, when I came here, I had a plan that I wasn't going to, like, look around at everything and stuff but when I got here I was like oh I need to take a picture with the castle so I'm really just enjoying the moment I know I wasn't supposed to but look at that that looks beautiful okay guys I just finished Space Mountain that wasn't bad that was fun it was over so fast but it was fun you guys it was fun and I got on it like at 8.31. The park opened at 8.30, 8.31. Like I'm an extreme power walker. Like I'm really fast, you guys, really, really fast. Take off my ears. Okay, we are, we are in three, two, one. <laughs> 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 no, it's okay, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so by this time i was getting ready to ride tron which is the fastest ride at magic kingdom so i was so scared i would lose my wig on this ride so i brought this headband and i'm just tying my wig down to make sure i do not lose it because i did not have time for that but i do always pack a spare wig just in case Y'all, that ride was so much fun. It was good. As someone who is afraid of all rides, that ride was really, really nice. And it wasn't too long for me at all. So 10 out of 10, you should definitely do it. So I had to do the most iconic ride, which is the spinning teacups. And I just wanted to spin as fast as possible. But it was pretty cute. So I did end up getting this spicy, sweet and spicy chicken and waffle. And y'all, it was so good. The waffle was super crispy. 10 out of 10. So a lot of people love this small world ride. I had to do that. I did so many rides. But at this time, it was hot outside. And as you all can see, I'm wearing leather. So I went back to the hotel and changed my outfit. Y'all, so Magic Kingdom really doesn't have any alcohol. So I went in my little hotel gift shop I showed you all earlier and got this bottle. It's called Once Upon a Vine, which I think is so cute, like a nice Disney bottle of champagne. So that is super cool. Let me get a little far away from it because I heard they be popping off sometimes. But yes, my lift is going to be here in 10 minutes. So I need to hurry up and <laughs> pour me a glass. I'm going to chug it real quick. Time to chug, time to chug, time to chug. Pre-game in the parks, pre-game in the parks, y'all. I gotta hurry up, the lift is coming. Okay, let me see how far away this lift is. I'll see you all in a little bit. So I ended up getting a cream cheese pretzel at Magic Kingdom and it was super good. I also saw this cute little enchanted tiki room show, which was pretty cute. And, of course, that's just me on these rides. So, for dinner, I was going to the Be Our Guest restaurant in Magic Kingdom where you're eating inside of the Beast's castle. So, it was just so beautiful. The artwork on the ceiling was just everything to me. So, it was super nice and fancy. And the Beast did come out for, like, a very short time, like... Let me tell y'all, the beast had somewhere to be. It was very quick, but he did come out just once. So they start you off with a French onion soup, which was really good. That was my first time even having French onion soup. And I did get the, I believe, filet mignon and mashed potatoes, asparagus, which was super duper good. So here's the beast bowing quick. He had to leave. <laughs> But um, then you get your dessert, which is like the gray stuff, a black truffle, a trio, which was pretty good. 
And the night ended with a beautiful fireworks show. And guys, it was it really was magical. Like, it just looked unreal. The music was perfect. They had projections on the castle. It was really something you have to experience. Such a beautiful show. And lastly, I went to the confectionery where you are able to make your own popcorn mix, which was really cool. You could have so many choices. But that is it for my day at Magic Kingdom Disney Springs. The, really the first maybe two days of my Disney trip. Make sure to come back to my channel to watch the other days. I hope Training, you all you guys. Like to like, to comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and thank you so much for watching. Okay.